Berkeley part here, continuing the Big Fix Foundation video series. In this section, I will cover the basics of Big Fix architecture. Let's get started. So at the center here, you have the Big Fix server. Uh, this, uh, this server can be a Windows server, Windows OS with SQL Server backend, or you can use a Red Hat uh, server with a DB2 backend. A single Big Fix server can manage 250,000 devices. Next, you have the Big Fix console. This is the primary access point to do everything you need to do within the Big Fix world. Uh, we are uh, in the process of migrating console controls to the web UI. Uh, that's work in progress. Stay tuned. The clients, the Big Fix agent, the Big Fix client, uh, you need to have one on every device that you plan to manage with Big Fix. You can deploy these either through the Big Fix server or you can do uh, build them into your gold image uh, or deploy them with a, a USB key. It's uh, your call. There's many ways to do that. Uh, the Big Fix client is fairly lightweight. We typically use around 2% CPU in idle, and we'll consume 10 to 15 meg of RAM, and we do consume a bit of disk space, um, primarily for caching. Next, you have the Big Fix Relay. Uh, a relays help spread the load off of the Big Fix server. Uh, you typically want these to be in pairs, so if one fails, you can fail over to a second relay. You want a relay on the other side of a WAN link. You only want to cross that WAN link once with content. Um, a relay has a couple of rules. A, it's always on, and B, it's got some disk space. Next is the web UI. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is uh, our new interface for accessing Big Fix and doing Big Fix work. Software distribution, patch policies, all the new stuff is going into the web UI. So our uh, uh, new release code that we have for V10, where we released uh, modern client management, uh, that is found and administered via the web UI. I recommend that your web UI is a standalone server. If you're in a very small environment uh, under 500 endpoints, you can get away with putting it on your Big Fix server, but uh, I strongly recommend that it's a uh, standalone server. Content delivery service. So every hour on the hour, your Big Fix server is talking to the HCL content delivery servers in the cloud and asking the question, is there new Big Fix content? Uh, were new patches released for Patch Tuesday? Did CIS release a new version of a check? Uh, so when HCL publishes that to the content servers, your Big Fix server is able to see that it has new content. It goes and grabs that new content and makes that available for the endpoints and your relays to evaluate. Uh, content updates. Um, so uh, know that uh, the Big Fix server is going to be the primary uh, server that will go and get content that's requested. Uh, for example, uh, you're applying a Microsoft patch. Um, your Big Fix client doesn't have the content uh, because it's never been applied to the client before. And uh, it doesn't, if the relay doesn't have it, then the relay will ask the Big Fix server. And the Big Fix server, if nobody in the environment has asked for that content yet, then the Big Fix server goes to whoever the vendor is. So in this case, Microsoft. We download the content, we calculate the SHA-1, the SHA-2, and the size, and then we make that available for the relays and the clients. And they do that bit of math again. Continuing on with the architecture, uh, there are some ports we need to use. Uh, 218443 is what we use to go con gather content uh, outside of Big Fix. Uh, Big Fix in and of itself uses port 52311. 
So all communication inside Big Fix is over that port. The communication between a Big Fix server and a relay is all TCP. However, when we're at a relay and we're going out to a client, the updates to alert a client that something new has happened will be done via UDP. So make sure that in your firewalls that you're allowing both TCP and UDP uh, across port 52311. If you need more information on the architecture of Big Fix, you can go to this URL and you can read all about it. This ends a section on architecture. Thank you.